Jackie and today I am going to show you how to make delicious soft pretzels. Stay tuned till the end of the video where I will have the recipe but let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with our dough. So I'm gonna use this bowl. You could use a mixer and use a dough hook. That would work just as well. I'm gonna go ahead and use this. So the first thing that we're gonna do is take five cups of flour. And then we're going to grab some white sugar and do half a cup of white sugar. And lastly, we're going to use some kosher salt and we're gonna add a teaspoon of kosher salt. Uh, we're also gonna be adding a yeast mixture to this. So this is about a cup, a little more than a cup of water, half a teaspoon of sugar and a packet of yeast. First though, I'm gonna give this just a little bit of a, a spin, mix a little a together a little bit. Then I'm going to add my yeast mixture into there. You want to make sure that your yeast mixture is frothy. It's the best way to describe it. That's how you know it's ready. We're also going to add a tablespoon of vegetable oil. And then we're going to mix it together. If you're using your mixer, you'll probably want to try the whisk tool first just to mix it together before switching to your dough hook. You're going to want to have it on medium heat for about five minutes. Since I am using a spoon, my hand, and a bowl, I'm going to go ahead and do it for about five minutes as well. You just want to make sure that it's all mixed together and that your dough, while solid, also has a little bit of gloss to it. All right, so here we have our dough. As you can see, it's all mixed. It's a little bit glossy. It's ready to proof. So we're gonna take a bowl that's already greased. So give your dough, your dough a nice little roll in there to make sure that it's completely covered. We're then gonna set it aside for an hour and somewhere warm because we want it to double in size. Next step is we're gonna take a couple cups of water and some baking soda. We're gonna mix it together and let it boil. While we wait for that to boil, let's go ahead and get our dough. So here it is. We're going to give it a quick punch, and then we're going to roll it out into whichever shape you want your pretzels to look like. So here I have some flour on the surface that I'm using. I'm going to pull a piece off, and I'm going to go ahead and start to shape the dough. To do a traditional shape, you're going to want to roll it out until you get this really long snake-like form. Then we're gonna pull it around like this, bend the sides down and connect it at the bottom. Now you're gonna to wanna to take a little bit of water and put it down there where those pieces connect. That's gonna act like a glue to keep the shape. Once you have it the way you like it, we're gonna put it on the parchment paper and then we're gonna go ahead and roll out the rest of our dough before we take it over to the baking soda mixture. So here, our baking soda and water is boiling. So we're gonna give our pretzels just a quick bath. What this is gonna do is it's gonna give it that really nice brown that you see on a pretzel. If you choose to skip this step, you can. Your pretzels will just be a little bit lighter. Now you wanna make sure you only keep your pretzel in the water for about 30 seconds, no more than that, or else it will absorb the taste of the baking soda. We're gonna do all of our pretzels. The oven is preheated to 425. So once we have them done, we'll put them in the oven. Here I have some salt. It's nice to put your salt on before because it's gonna stick since the pretzels are already wet. So let's go ahead and do a bath for the rest of our pretzels and then we'll put them in the oven for about eight to 10 minutes. All right, and here we have our pretzels. So they're ready to go. They're still warm right out of the oven. So we're gonna give them a slight bath of butter. That way it's gonna stick to there and then it'll be good. I also have my salt in case I felt it needed a little bit more salt. So let's take our butter and just give it a nice quick brush over our
So here we have our pretzels. They are warm and they are ready to be eaten. I want to thank you for joining me and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.